Alright, I'm going to try to make this video as clear as I can. It's really hard to see because my phone's focus sucks, but... You see the positive volt? Or the uh, positive pulse is 16 volts. And the... Negative is 292. And this is coming off my solid state Bedini circuit. I have it running through a microwave transformer the high voltage side not the low voltage side the high voltage side has a lot more winds there's a lot more impedance a lot bigger spike comes off of it I'm using a Arduino to send a pulse width modulation signal to the 3055 circuit over there which has 110 ohm or a 100 ohm, sorry, resistor connected to pin 8, which is the output of the pulse. It's connected to my source battery, which is just a simple 12 volt battery that I got from Radio Shack. And as you can see, it draws almost no power at all. I'll even unplug it to show you the difference. Now it's unplugged. You see the Arduino is not lit up. That's how much power it's drawing. Nothing. Plug the Arduino in. See the lights are lit up. Still drawing almost zero amps. Very close to it as possible. But it's running through the the top side of that transformer there. And it's giving me 292 volt spikes. Now I can use this resistor that I have right there to change the pulse width modulation, change the frequency of this, which I'll do right now as I'm, so I can show you. Make it, but see the extra pulses show up just like Dini talks about. You want to get rid of the extra pulses and make it one pulse. And if I go too short, they start shortening up. See now they're at 160 volts make the frequency a little bit smaller and they almost they clear disappear but when you find that correct frequency right there it is 292 volts that's negative 292 volts I don't have it hooked up to anything but I've been able to charge capacitors and charge batteries with it so it's a very powerful circuit that draws almost no power at all which is quite amazing.